Let's say we have this equation. We know what t is equal to. t is equal to 2 pi times the square root of l over g. What if I want to solve that equation for g? In other words, I want g by itself on one side of the equation. What would the other side of the equation look like? Well, this is kind of like a nested Russian dolls problem. In other words, we need to get to this g down here, which is buried underneath a whole bunch of other stuff. And we have to progressively take off those other bits in order to expose the g, kind of like you do with these Russian dolls. So the first thing I would do is divide both sides by 2 pi. And when we do that, our expression has changed to look like this. Then we need to get rid of this square root sign. Well, how do we do that? We square both sides. So we need to square both sides. And when we do that, we're going to get in the numerator on the left, t squared. And you have to remember, whenever we take 2 pi and square it, we don't get 2 pi squared. It's 2 pi squared, which is 4 pi squared. Notice that the square root sign has disappeared on the right, which is what happens when you square both sides. And now what I like to do is cross multiply, because when you do that, that gets rid of any denominators. So g times t squared is equal to 4 pi squared times l. Now to get g by itself, I simply divide both sides by t squared, which gives us our final answer, 4 pi squared l divided by t squared. There's no particular order that we need to put this numerator in. You could put the l first, you could put the pi squared first. Typically the number is written first, and if there's a pi term that comes second, and then the variables after that. But it's all multiplication in the numerator, so you should know that it doesn't really make any difference. Let's try one more. We're going to solve this equation for theta sub c. First thing we need to do is we need to divide both sides by n sub i. And when we do that, we'll get this expression. The sine of theta sub c is equal to nr divided by n sub i. We need to get not the sine of theta sub c, but just theta sub c. So we need to get rid of this sine. And the way you do that is by taking the inverse sine of both sides. When you take the inverse sine of both sides, you get theta sub c is equal to the inverse sine of the quantity nr over ni. 